spilled tea all over me. Okay, take two. So welcome to the TL Travel YouTube channel. Plan today, now that I am no longer covered in tea, is to get out and do a little bit of exploring in the wilderness. Unfortunately, Alberta has gone back a few steps in the lockdown process and I just, you know, I need an adventure, I need to shake it up, and I feel like you guys feel the same way, so let's just get going. So we are here now at the Clifford E. Lee Nature Sanctuary and we were kind of hoping that this spot was going to be a little bit quiet. There does seem to be a lot more people here than normal but probably for the reasons that I mentioned earlier with lockdown. This is a free spot where you can go and just like do some exploring. I'll show you around a little bit. It's open from one hour before sunrise until sunset and then after that you risk your car getting ticketed, towed, that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah. We're just gonna go do a little adventuring, show you around, hopefully see some wildlife, and uh, enjoy a little mid-afternoon city escape. So, let's go. Located approximately 30 kilometers outside of Edmonton city center, the Clifford E. Lee Nature Sanctuary protects 348 acres of marshland, open meadow, aspen parkland, and pine forest. These habitats attract diverse groups of animals, including more than 100 bird species, and provide an excellent opportunity for viewing wildlife. Exploring the sanctuary is free, easy, and simple by a boardwalk connected to some upland trails and is easily navigated in the summer for visitors at all skill levels. Okay, so there's definitely like a spot here at the sanctuary where things open up a bit and there's like a meadow and there's signs where you can watch for like moose and other like larger wildlife kind of roaming free. Very cool, but with today being the brisk day that it is, it also, you lose all that shelter and it gets like the wind, it, it was cold. Let's just say it was, it was a chilly one. So we're not gonna spend too much time in the meadow area and we're just kind of like cutting through across to get back to the boardwalk because it isn't boardwalk all the way around as you can see by the uh muddy <laughs> ground leaf water here but it's still been like super nice to just get out and i will say that even though the parking lot was super busy once you kind of like get onto the boardwalk and the trails you really don't come across people that much so that's been really nice and uh yeah, I would definitely recommend it as a place to just like go get out and do some walking around the city and do some like wildlife watching. Just like and have an enjoyable afternoon. There's also like a point where you can continue around to do like Pine Knoll Loop Trail, which is just like more of this trail action. But with how muddy it looks, I think we're just gonna kind of go back to the boardwalk and stick with that. just in time because the rain just started to come down outside. Um, it was like a little bit colder for today's adventure than I had initially hoped. Oh my gosh, I have like camera gear everywhere. But it, was, it wasn't too bad um, and it was just like nice to get out. Like I mentioned, Alberta has taken some steps backwards. So some of the adventures that we had planned, we do have to cancel or postpone, but there are still a few things coming up that it, it, that it doesn't matter. So we are still planning all those adventures and there's lots coming 
for you. So if you have not already hit that subscribe button, definitely do it. Hit that like button if you just are craving adventure. <laughs> and I'm just gonna let you guys go here. So until I see you in my next video, stay great, travel safe. There's Derek. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Mm-hmm.